All right, guys, so in this video, we are talking about iPad accessories. So if you have been wanting to buy iPad cases or keyboards, then this video is going to be for you. Hey guys, my name is Wenda and I am the blogger behind Wendaful.com. So I help creative planners like you find functional and productive ways for you to use your planning system so you can get more done every single day. All right, so in this video, we are talking about iPad cases, keyboard cases, keyboards, mice, um, pen tips and covers and everything about iPad accessories. So I have an iPad Pro 11 inch 2020. So these are the accessories specifically for that. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is my pink iPad keyboard case. So this keyboard case I have used for the past year and it is amazing. Like you can, you always have your keyboard on you whenever you need it. I love that you can view your iPad at any angle because it's really stiff, you know, to move. It's, it's not really that stiff, but it's kind of stiff so that it can, you know, stay at any angle that you put it at. Um, you can twist it so that you can just cover the keyboard and put it behind if you want. You can lay it completely flat and it's just an amazing case. Um, the only complaint that I had about it is that the shift key on the right hand side was a little small, so I didn't like that. It made typing a little hard, but I love that the keyboard um, lit up at night so I can use it, but I noticed when it was really quiet at night and I was using it, um, you just hear that like humming sound from the, uh, from the keyboard, only when I turned on the lights for it. Um, another thing that I wanted to point out is that this little black thing doesn't come with the case when you buy it. Um, it's actually a stick-on pen holder that I bought um, a while back and I just use it to put my pen in there. I put it right over the um, iPad so that it can attach even when it's in the pen loop and it just kind of rests my pen, Apple pen, and keeps it secure so that I don't lose it. <clears throat> yeah, other than that, it's an amazing case. Um, I got it in the pink color and it's just super cute. It had like a shine to it. It was glossy. And then um, the reason why I switched out of it was because it was a little heavy. Um, and then when I wanted to view things vertically, like, you know, on Instagram or whatever, then I would have to kind of stand it up, uh, stand it up on its... Uh, on the side, I guess, with the keyboard um, open a little bit. And it was just a little awkward for that. Um, I just really wanted something a little bit lighter. So that's why I switched to the next case that we're gonna talk about. I bought this for about $7 a long time ago as well. Um, and I loved everything about it, except that it didn't have a area for you to put in the Apple Pencil or to secure the Apple Pencil. And I am so OCD about losing my Apple Pencil. So I really wanted something that can house it. So I just took one of those and I stuck it to the back of my case. But then I guess I put it a little bit too low because then my, whenever I stuck my pencil into it, it wouldn't charge the pencil. So I had to eventually find a case that had, that was similar to that case, but had, um, a designated iPad pencil holder. So that's how I came across this tiny owl case. And I like this a lot better than the first one actually because this one, the magnet um, seems a little bit stronger. Um, the case is a little bit more stiffer. So I feel like it doesn't collapse as easily. So I really like that. Um, and the pencil casing on the edges, um, it's not, it doesn't go all the way across as you can see here. It just, you know, the buttons are still attached to it. <clears throat> and it seems really sturdy. And when I bought it, it was actually, there was actually a coupon code for it. So it only came out to about $12. So super affordable. And um, it's the case that I'm using right now. This other case, this is a purple case. And this is how a lot of the cases are made. Um, this is how most of the cases that I came across on Amazon looked like um, with the Apple Pencil holder. 
but then also with everything else kind of raised so like the but i i was kind of scared that the buttons wouldn't work because it was like a big space between where the button was and where the case the top of the case was or the top of where the apple pencil was but those buttons are actually pretty stiff so when you click it 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 does work but uh, i liked this case because it it completely covered the apple pencil so it was you know an extra security and i also like that it was a little bit easier for me to take in and out the pencil from the ipad um, it also has this little circle where you can just stick your pencil if you know you just want to put your pencil somewhere and not just leave it on your desk and then i really liked this planner because of the feel of it um it has this like fabric feel and it just feels safe and secure i think it was the button thing for me and the color of why i chose the um the pink one instead and then finally i have this leather case um this brown leather case that i bought a long time ago as well um I love this case. It was super easy. You can, you know, adjust the angle of how you viewed your iPad. Um, and it had a pocket on the front so that you can store, you know, papers or anything else. But I just didn't really like the look of that. So eventually I just, you know, had to stop using that. So those are the cases. Um, now we are going to be talking about Apple Pencil accessories. So the Apple Pencil accessories um, that I found were this, you know, this purple casing. So it was this, you know, this thing you just put your pencil in. Even though it was super cute, it just wasn't functional at all. Like every time I would put it in my... I was able to charge my pencils, but every time I would put it into the pen loop, it would just kind of slide around. And then I think even with this casing, it's just a little... Uh, stiff to put it in so I stopped using that I felt like I really didn't need it it was just for the looks really um, and then the tip it came with a little tip as well and I, it was just really hard to write with um, I know it's supposedly supposed to protect your tips but I didn't like the way it felt and that brings me to my next accessory which are the Apple pencil tips so I didn't even know that they made these, but when I was browsing the Apple Store website, I found these Apple Pencil Tips for only about like $19 and it comes with four of them. So now I don't have to worry about getting a cover for it because I could just, you know, order new tips whenever it runs down. Um, so far, I have a matte screen protector on my iPad and, you know, so far I don't see a lot of wear. I see like a little tiny like scratch of it wearing down a little bit but I've had this for almost over a year now and you know I haven't had to replace it so this isn't even open yet but just in case I have that. Okay so the next thing I want to talk about is the screen protectors. So I just bought this generic uh, paper-like film screen protector. It was about ten dollars on Amazon. It comes with the two, it comes in a two-pack. Um, it has instructions on the back. This is really easy to put on. Um, I do have a bubble on mine that I couldn't get out, but I might just, I'm, I'm just using it for now. I like this screen protector. Um, it keeps it matte and there's no glare. I just like the screen protector because when I write on it, um, my pencil doesn't glide as much. It's not like super smooth. So it kind of makes my handwriting a lot neater. So yeah, um, I've never tried the official paper-like screen protector. But this does a job and it was like five to 10 bucks only. Okay, and now we are gonna be talking about keyboards. So I already talked about the keyboard case, but if you want a separate keyboard so that you're not lugging around a keyboard all the time, then I would highly suggest you get the Logitech um, K380. So I think this is only for Mac. Um, um, I think, I'm not sure, but um, I love it because it has three buttons so that you can switch between your iMac, your 
your, you know, your MacBook Pro, your iPad, and your phone. So I connected all three of my devices and with just one click of the button, I can switch between typing on my computer to typing on my iPad to typing on my phone. Um, and I, after um, using this keyboard case, I realized that I don't really type a lot on my iPad when I'm carrying it around. I usually type it when I'm planning at my desk. So I found that I don't need to carry my keyboard everywhere with me. So I found having a lighter iPad with the keyboard detached was ideal for me. So other kinds of keyboards that they have out there are the Jellycomb ones. Um, those are pink as well. Um, they also come in all different colors like black, white, and I think a blue one. And I really wanted that keyboard because it had the stand so that you can put your iPad in. So if you look at this keyboard, it doesn't have that little area for you to put your iPad. But if you have an iPad, iPad case, you can easily just use your case to stand it up anyways. Um, but the Jellycomb one does come with that little indent so that you can put your phone and your iPad in there. Um, and then the next thing I want to talk about is the mouse. So um, I didn't opt to get the Logitech mouse because I felt like I spent a lot on accessories already. So I just opted for this cheap one. Um, it's the same color as this keyboard as well. And I chose this one because you can connect it with two devices. So it has a Bluetooth and then a USB. So I just connect my USB to my Mac or to my MacBook and then so that I can use the mouse on my MacBook. And then if I wanted to use it on my iPad as well, then I can just switch it to the Bluetooth and connect it to my iPad through there. So I like that I can use it for both devices easily with just, you know, with just this little switch. I used to have like a old mouse that I was using and it was just really loud. Um, this one has silent clicks, so it's really awesome. All right, so yeah, those were the iPad accessories that I use for my iPad planning. Um, I hope this video was useful. Um, I'm going to have all the links to all of these accessories down below. And yeah, thanks so much for watching.